Okay, so this video is on how to do the pickup cables for the tower docks. Uh, first step with these cables is to cut them all to the specified length. And we do the oval swage with the thimble on each side. I do all of them uh, up front so that they're all kind of done together. Um, inevitably, the cables are cut at different lengths. So what we're doing is we're taking the, the loops here and I'm putting it as uh, just a just a tool here down to the pipe just to hold them so that I can actually stretch them out. And when I do that, I can see that the lengths are different by a little bit. So I'm just going to take these and uh, now that they're held together, put the, uh, use a cable cutter and cut them so they're at the identical length. That'll help us later to make everything look really good. The whole thing with these cables is they need to be symmetrical, so you're trying to keep everything the same. Uh, the next step is I'm going to feed, this is quarter inch cable, so I'm going to feed the uh, quarter inch cable clamps over top. Just let them dangle down on the cable. two on each. Put those down for a second. We're using the uh, half half inch. Uh, uh, what are these things called? They're the golden pin uh, shackles there. Golden pin shackles. So it's uh, this style with the golden pin and the nut and there's a little um, uh, pin that goes in there too. What I've done is I take take them apart and then the thimbles I actually feed over top of the legs of this ahead of time. I do those all at the same time. The reason is that when the tower dock was up in the air the cables that we're making are going to go out on an angle to the corners of the, the tower and then the winch cable and pickup cable are going to hang off of the pin and they'll go straight and they actually um, uh, change vertically where the, the two cables going out go on an angle and we need the, the horseshoe shape there to allow for that. So that's these need to be put on ahead of time. Uh, to keep the weight down when you're doing this finesse stuff, I've, you keep the, it's a good reason to take the pin out. We're going to need to put something in there anyway, so take it out ahead of time. And now what I do is the first one, um, let's put that down for a second. I feed the cable into the cable clamp. I, Helps to loosen these nuts a little bit. Feed it through the first one and the second one. And I'm gonna pull this out until there's about six inches or so of overlap. And then I'm going to tighten up uh, not the one closest to the loop, but the one farthest away from the loop. So you might call that the second one. And I'm going to tighten that up first. The reason for this is that getting the second clamp up to the thimble takes a bit of finesse, but if the cable is sliding at the same time, the lengths are always going to change. So by putting this one in place, you've locked the two cables together and you've set the length to be uh, exact. And now when I slide the second one, it's not going to change the length of the cable. So then I'm going to do that on the next one. through both and now what I'm going to do is pick the first one up and slide the second one I'm actually going to hold them together so that they're the same length and I've got the bend in the cable at the same spot and then I'm going to do the first or the second cable clamp just like I did on the other side I kind of just hold those cables together and then I'll tighten up the clamp on that cable. I'm 
not doing any of these things super tight just in case I have to make an adjustment. Okay, so now that I have both of these together, just double check that again. And ideally the cable clamps are in a similar location. So I actually moved a little bit. So I'm going to make an adjustment to that. and I can put one cable into the shackle and over top of the thimble that's already been installed on it and then with I can hold a little bit of pressure to keep the cable and the thimble kind of attached and then I can slide this one back until it's nice and tight on the thimble and I can hold that in place tighten this up up more than once because as they go back and forth the pressure releases uh, on the saddle and you have to tighten it up the other way again afterwards so so now i've got both of these on and attached and the length is identical which is great uh, now i'm going to take two three eighths quick links i open them up the reason i'm opening them up is they're actually really tight on the shackle and if you put them on the wrong way you actually can't open them because the nut here will be colliding with the side of the shackle. So I'm opening them up so I know which way they open and I'm actually just gonna leave them open because the client's gonna have to put the winch cable onto it, which would require opening it anyways. And they're not, the opening is not big enough to fall off the, uh, the pin. So what I'm doing is I'm putting these onto the um, shackle with the nuts facing away. So like they've opened away from the shackle and then uh, put the pin in there. It's a lot to hold on to, but. Okay, so both of those are in, and then put the nut on. back in. I'll use the pliers to spread that again so that it stays out. There shouldn't be any real reason to have to go back into that shackle now. So that's that. So pull that out and we're done. So we've got the two quick links on the shackle, on the pin of the shackle. We've got the cables on the horseshoe part. We've got uh, the cable clamps like that, identical, all the way down to the oval swages and then the thimbles on that side. Take this assembly, loop it up a couple times, and then we have a zip tie to hold it together. We're gonna label the, um, the pickup cable as a pickup cable and with the measurement. I think the uh, lengths vary based on the width of the dock. So 
the ones I made today are six footers um, and obviously the they're all the same other than the length of the cable I cut this one the six footer just at six feet and uh, So the other other thing is uh, the pickup cables get an orange uh, identifying tag so that the clients know what uh, like how to identify these things every year when they put them together. This is just the name tag that helps us to know that it's a six foot instead of an eight foot. That's going to be really important for the pickup cable in particular. Uh, it's hard to tell them all apart. So we've got these ones labeled as a six footer. And then the uh, orange tag. I'm putting the orange tag right on the shackle because that's at the center point. Um, you don't want to put it somewhere that the client's going to take it off. So just put it here, pop that in, and that's it. That's what the finished uh, tower pickup cable looks like.